Hello and welcome everybody to my new YouTube series, How I Painted the Joker Bust. And the first episode is going to be about how I painted the general head area, the face and the makeup. And uh, keep in mind that it, most of it is footage from my stream, that's why some areas are maybe a bit slow as I go back and forth uh, from interacting with the viewership. Uh, and between the paintings, so for that reason I did add chapters and you can access them in the comments. So if you want to skip forward to an area that's more interesting to you, that's fine. And if you want to rewatch, uh, you can also easily find it. So yeah, if you have any questions, as always, feel free to add them in the comments and enjoy the video. Let's see, uh, I'll probably start with my approach of just mixing a brown color with white and maybe add some sepia but I, I'll not start with I won't start with a, a flesh tone like you would usually so let's see just gonna take a brown and I think I'm I might start really light already god damn it so yeah the, the, the goal is to start really light already and to to give them a light skin tone Okay, so uh, this is the brown that we're going to start with, and uh, like I said, I'll try to just mix that down with with white, uh, just to see what base tone we get. And yeah, I'm somewhat happy with that. Like I said, uh, a couple times I don't start my skin tones with, with just out of the bottle um, flesh tones because they, they tend to be too, um, yeah, not intense enough or too, too yellow and so on. And uh, let's see, a tiny bit of maybe a red or sepia. Just to see how it looks. Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. So let's uh, make a bit more of this mix. And also not too dark, so let's see. I'll give, mm, I'll give it a, um, a highlight with some yellow. Well, it's not really yellow, but it is um, yellowish uh, white, especially the forehead and the forehead area and the cheeks, just to bring that up a bit higher. And then I'll probably shade down with some red uh, here and then some grayish blue for below the below the nose and the chin and down here so that we have a bit of an initial um, light and shadow variation and I'll keep most of the the lower parts so the the wrinkles dark so that the effect doesn't get ruined I'll 
also to the nose. Okay, so I have the feeling that this is a bit too too intense. I'll tone it down again a bit. So like I said, um, I'll probably try to, to get the chest area uh, lighter than the overall uh, skin color. some of the shadows um, by mixing some blue into that instead of up uh, also gonna add some shadows here and I'll probably tint that area mm, again with, with some red because that is the cheek uh, and it should show quite a bit of uh, blood vessels coming through but yeah so for, for for now I'll just treat it like I would not apply a face paint and probably some of this work is gonna be in vain but I just want to make sure um, in case I don't want to cover some areas uh, which could happen that we do have an interesting looking face uh, below that. bit of that mm, when the hair starts to have a bit of a transition between the, uh, the skin color and the green hair that we're going to give him Said, adding some color variation also on the wrinkles and just giving it a wash with this tone and then probably going back to uh, to some more red 
reddish skin tone. And here I already start um, painting the scars. more red so for for shading I actually do uh, do like the the skin tones by scale color I just don't really like them for or any skin tone really for the base, for the base tone. So I'm gonna add some more red here for the scar tissue. And also around the nose. Tone back, and then let's see. Probably gonna add some pink for now. Well, not pink, but uh, add some red, which does turn it into pink in the end. See, uh, I use a bit more of um, a thinner consistency, and I just wipe away some of the, the color that gets too high, so that I don't ruin my highlights.
details, get some light back. Especially on the scars. some highlights as well into the beard. Okay, I don't actually don't want to get too lost in the face to be honest. Uh, because we're going to paint white over it pretty soon anyway. Just gonna focus a bit more on the scars. Get them a bit more bright. So, what else? Uh, probably gonna focus one more time. Mm. This area down here still does look a bit left out. I think I'll cover the hair uh, or just um, get some, some brown color into the hair before we start uh, painting the gray highlights. I mean the green highlights, sorry. Uh, that means I need some neutral gray. I'll use, I'll use uh, graphite in that case. Okay, it looks a bit similar to, to the hair color. Ah, to the skin color, I mean, of course, sorry. But that's not too bad, I'll use it as a base, and then maybe add a bit of more brown. Yeah, maybe a bit of black, we'll fix that. So I just want some neutral grey-brown here. For the very beginning of the hair, uh, so that it shines through the green a bit. And then just like he, the he, Ledger Joker, uh, have it be a messy green hair color. Yeah, the question is do we start with the black? Yeah, I think it might be worth. Worth it. Start with the black eyes. 
And again also here I'm not doing pure black, I'm mixing a bit of blue and black. Starting well from the inside to the outside because on the inside I want it to be more intense than on the outside because that's why it mixes with uh, with white. Just leaving the skin tone. To, to shine through uh, below the eyes where you would uh, put some Kayao if you wanted uh, completely dark eyes but I think that does add some more drama to it but I'm covering the upper eyelid Extend the paint into a few of those. Wrinkles, because it would probably accumulate there. Okay, and the rest probably is going to be covered in white. Hmm. I think I want to give it one pass with maybe gray. Yeah, let's do that so that we keep a bit of uh, light and shadow still. Yeah, I think uh, probably the underpainting didn't make a lot of sense to a lot of people, but uh, I think now it's gonna come together. a bit of the hair here because uh, the application is just messy and in the wrinkles I still want most of the skin color to show, like I said.
habit, right? Because you want the skin tones you made to come through the while it's very thin. I mean, compared to, uh, well, so it's not really opaque. Um, but yeah, the 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 way I let the the skin tone shine through is probably more because I I don't touch the lower parts. It's not really thick, but it's not as thin as I... I've used thinner paints for, for other stuff. might actually be my favorite paint job ever <laughs> simply because I, I just tried something new So just the same technique I used for the white on the face, I'm going to add the green base. Just checking how it looks. 
Yeah, I think I'm fine with that. Has a bit of a yellowish tint already. Yeah, I think that looks interesting, so let's keep that. Alright, so the last part is going to be the red parts of the makeup and as you can see here I'm using a blood red from scale from scale color again and uh, I'm going to use varying thicknesses of the paint starting with the upper lip here can have a bit of a thicker consistency And uh, just stabbing on the red more or less regularly to cover most of the lips and also cover some of the area just above the lip. And as you can see, I'm already focusing a bit on the makeup creeping up into the wrinkles. Just like we did with the black. And using some of the pre-painting, the pre-shading, pre-highlighting, and just tinting those gradients in red. On this side again. Adding more randomness as I go along.
again working a bit with the shades and the highlights so uh, not covering the highlights too much but uh, staying more in the shades we'll darken that red a bit and giving everything a second pass to bring up more intensity So here, placing a bit more emphasis on the upper lip. And also touching the lower lip for more intensity. Because as you can see, it used to be a bit more pink than red. And taking a smaller brush putting some of that makeup into the wrinkles as it would creep up there from the sweat and uh, yeah also doing that on the other side And that's about it. Thanks for watching, don't forget, the next part is going to be about how I painted the eyes. So keep your eyes on this channel. Thanks for watching.